What's up everybody, it's Goober here. Uh, I finally have everything set up and I've been trying to decide uh, what I'm gonna do for, you know, like a daily series and stuff. Well, I decided to do a Road to Legends on Hearthstone. I am not guaranteeing I reach Legend, mind you. It is just my overall goal. And hopefully I'll reach it. If I don't, I won't be like the most upset by it. But I'm really trying to reach a legend. And hopefully you guys will follow my story here. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. <clears throat> uh, all gameplay will be shown. Whether I win or lose. Any gameplay I do whenever I decide to record. However it goes, that's how it gets uh, shown on, you know, this channel. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so a lot of people recommend whenever you start doing, like, whenever you decide to climb. Ooh, that was a good draw. We're testing to see what the secret is right now. Okay, it seems like it's probably a spell base seeker of some sort. So... Ooh, that sucks. I've kind of played right into that, but it's not like the biggest deal. We know he can't respond to my summon right now. Um... I kind of want to save this for an extra turn, just in case. He has a counter spell here. So this is my third season playing Hearthstone. So I would be super surprised if I actually end up making Legend. I'm going to at least try to hit like three or two. Um, and make Legend next season for my first uh, time making Legend. I kind of don't want to use my Evolve combo yet. I'm not going for the Evolve combo here as I know that's not- that uh, secret is not interacting with my summons. Um, and it might be a counter of some sort. Which I'm going to try to bait out with the coin. But I really want to be careful here, depending on what he's playing. Um, I do want to definitely apply pressure against Secret Mage to force him to start using cards. Which I think I'm going to start doing right now, actually. Okay, so I have 3-3 three, three here, 0-2. Zero, if I place this right here, if he meteors it, I keep my 2-2 two, two, and 3-3. Three, three. Seems like a good place for it to go. So, playing around media right there. Um, a little bit of history with my card game experience. I was a top 200 North America player uh, based off of Kazi rating. Um, if you want to look me up, you can. It's Thomas Balaban. And that was back in 2000 and... Um, was it 2012 or 13? It was one of those years. This was it was whenever windups were one of the big decks. If anyone knows what I'm talking about with windups. Okay, so Thanos, Frostbolt. Now oh, that sucks. Okay. So let's see what this. Does. Okay. That is exactly what I was hoping for it to be. Okay, if I attack with this. They trade evenly. And attack this with this. Attack him directly. And doppelganger into coin evolve. Okay, let's let's see what I got. Enemy spells cost zero next turn. Doesn't matter. Amazing. Double the damage of my healing and stuff. Two stealths. Wind fury. Ooh, wind fury. Nice. So I got a lot of nice and beefy minions there. Uh, so, 
I have, as far as meta decks go, I have aggro warrior or a pirate warrior, whatever you call it. Um, evolve shaman and for non-tier one decks, I have like a lot of them. Quest rogue, miracle rogue, pretty much any kind of rogue. I have like every single rogue card, uh, every single hunter card. I almost have uh, Marlock Paladin complete, which I will probably play if I end up completing it, but I do not see me completing it this season. Um. Ooh. Okay, I can turn those into Wisps if I wanted to. Do I have a game if I do? Oh. <laughs> So, I just learned that there. Devolve does not work against uh, those little things. I did not know that before. I knew that Devolve doesn't work against, um, let's see, Arcane Giant and the Polymorph Frog thing from Shaman. I'm still learning here, guys. <laughs> so, that was game number one of the climb. Um... Rank 9 right now. I'm not sure how many stars I didn't look. This is probably a mirror match, which I want to have Firefly in my opening hand, I think. Flame Tongue's pretty good. Okay. Firefly, Flame Tongue. If this is a mirror match and I'm going first, it's a really, really good beginning. Okay. Let's see how he, he's playing here. Ooh, this is my favorite map to play with. We have so many little things. You have this, where he like... Oh, that's not a machine gun. I thought that was always a machine gun. Fair enough. <laughs> um, I do kind of want to use this now. But if he has... Let's see, what can he have? He can have Jade Claws... Which will get rid of it, but I can kill all of his minions now. Yeah, let's go for getting rid of all of his minions now. And let's see if, let's just hope he doesn't have the Jade Claws. Because I think that's my best play right now. I could have Hero Powered, I could have summoned my other Flame Elemental, but yeah. Sometimes it's nice to just to see how things go, you know? Next turn, if he doesn't have an answer. Okay. He didn't have the answer. That's a pretty good card, though. So, do I devolve right now? He'd get a wisp and whatever this ends up turning into. Nah, I don't think devolving's a good idea. I think I just go for the kill on it. The good old natural kill, man. So yeah, I was so excited. I spent a lot of time uh, trying to get my room set up here to be great for recording. I think I finally got everything set up. And that was super exciting for me. Like... Can't even understand how excited I was, guys. That might have been a bad call to attack with this instead of into that. Because he might have a Maelstrom portal. See, I'm recognizing my misplays. I'm learning as I go. Okay. Yeah, that's how I assumed was going to happen right there. Okay, I have combo next turn. I think I just go with hero power this for now. See what this gets me. Keep my flame tongue alive. Next turn, wipe his field and doppelganger evolve. And that should give me a very, very solid lead on him.
part of me just wants to trade into the, this. Yeah. Let's just kill some of his minions while I'm at it. Ooh, auctioneer. What's this? Okay, it's a battle cry. Whenever I attack and survives, draw a card. Listen closely. I'm super excited for the auctioneer. Oh man, auctioneer is so much fun. So like a lot of people on the Reddit for Hearthstone complain like they don't like the game. It might have be my like newbie aspect or like my past card game history but i absolutely love hearthstone like this game is just so much fun to me okay i think i'm gonna start off with a devolve here See what those turn into. Ooh, look at that. What? Oh, okay. Um, that was not expected. Do not resist. Okay, let's take this out. See what it gets me. Okay, it got me bloodlust, which I think I play right now because I can make. This strong enough to kill that. Draw me a card. It's coming. I got this. Okay, I'm playing around his bloodlust. That's why I'm clearing the field right now. Gotta play around his bloodlust. I wanna keep my auctioneer and this dude alive to continuously get me some gains. Okay, there's a Jade Claws. Does he have Malstorm Portal? Uh, he's gonna just trade out right with that. Okay. That's fine with me. Okay, I'm gonna see if... I can get uh, spell damage. If I do not, then I can just lightning. I might have needed to evolve there, but I really, really like having Auctioneer on my side of the field. That might have been a bad misplay there, but we'll see. Hey, Burglar Bully. Okay. So if I tack all these into that, I just have game, right? Yeah. GG, man! A Where shall I Proc my last two attacks. Two games in a row. And let's see, is that gonna be rank 8? I don't remember what my stars were at. Hey, buddy! Awesome! I am going to end this video right here for the day. And... Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. If you will enjoy watching this series and watch me, and maybe we can improve together, uh, watch me, you know, get to legend, hopefully. Awesome. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Yeah,